today we will be talking about habitats. A habitat is a place that an animal lives. It provides the animal with food, water, and shelter. There are many different types of habitats around the world from forests to grasslands. Each habitat is home to different animals which are adapted to live in their environment. Speaking of which, what's an adaption? An adaption is a special skill which helps an animal to survive and do everything it needs to do. Adaptations could be physical changes to the animal's body or behavioral changes. For example, giraffes' long necks are a physical adaptation that help them reach food other animals can't. It's also important to understand what a food chain is. Every living thing needs energy in order to live. Every time animals do something, like run or jump, they use energy. Animals can get energy from eating food. And a food chain shows how each living thing gets their food and how energy is passed from creature to creature. So in this example, a simple food chain would start with grass, which a grasshopper eats, the frog eats the grasshopper, the snake eats the frog, and the eagle eats the snake. Can you think of another food chain? One of the first habitats we'll be talking about are deserts. Deserts are regions in which very little rain falls, and because living things need water to survive, deserts are home to few plants and animals. Deserts tend to be either very hot or very cold. Many of the world's hottest places are deserts. However, not all deserts are hot because both the Arctic and Antarctica have very little rain and are considered to be deserts. Desert animals usually have special adaptations for coping both with the lack of water and extreme temperatures. Rainforests are a kind of forest habitat. They are found in warm places and full of many tall trees and leafy plants. It's called a rainforest because it gets a lot of rain every year helping all the plants grow. Trees in the rainforest grow very tall because they have to compete with the other plants for sunlight. Kapok trees can grow up to 200 feet. In addition, did you know the rainforest has four layers? Most animals in the rainforest live in the canopy, which is three layers up from the bottom. Millions of different kinds of plants and animals live here, and some haven't even been discovered yet. One of them is the sloth. Even though they're slow, they're built perfectly for life in the trees because their arms are longer than their legs, and they have curved feet for grasping branches. The mountains is another type of habitat. Mountains can act like barriers preventing plants and animals from crossing from one side of the mountain to the other. As you climb higher up a mountain, it gets colder and the trees eventually thin out and disappear. When it gets too cold for trees to grow, it's called a timberline. The highest parts of the mountain support only some grass and low-growing flowers which can withstand the harsh conditions. If the mountain is high enough, even this will disappear and only bare rock will be there covered in ice and snow. Life on the mountains for animals can be very harsh. The food is scarce and the climate is very cold. Many animals, like the mountain goat, have adapted to survive the bitter cold. Now we'll be talking about oceans. Oceans are as deep as they are wide. On average, an ocean is a little over two miles deep, and more than 70% of Earth is covered in oceans. Scientists estimate that about one million species of animals live in the ocean, but most of them are invertebrates, which are animals without backbones, such as jellyfish. Some of the smallest animals on Earth can also be found in the ocean, like plankton, which are so small you can only see them with a microscope, but big fish, like great white sharks, also swim in these waters. Finally, we will conclude by talking about grasslands. Grasslands are places that receive more rain than deserts, but less rain than forests. Most of the plants here are grasses, which don't need much water. Every continent except Antarctica has grasslands, but they all have different names in different places. For example, in Africa, they're called savannas. The dominant animals in grasslands are plant eaters, like horses and deer. Their long legs help them run fast to escape grassland predators. Thank you!